Here we have some Brennecke Special Forces Short Magnum 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter inch shotgun slug. Here's what they look like. That's the one I shot. Here's the stats on the back of the box. Now this was shot at 10 feet. So that's a one and a quarter ounce slug. Here we go. There's the entry. This was at 10 feet. It's from a Mossberg 535, 19 and a half inch barrel, modified choke. I'll come into the second block, and the cavity really, really shortened out and got pretty small come back you see it's getting smaller as it goes it exited this block so that's 26 inches and it went through two water jugs and kept on going so I do not have the recovered slug Don't pay attention to this where I cut out the 22 shell from the last video. It's just this straight cavity here. That's from the slug. So basically all the damage that it did was in the first block. The majority of that it starts to die down at about 10 inches. So from basically entry to 10 inches it was doing some damage. After that it just kind of streamed out. As far as penetration it definitely got to penetration. Two 13 inch blocks, two water jugs that are roughly about four inches, four and a half inches thick. Now that cavity is about one inch wide. See exit. the exit from the first block there's the entrance in the block number two now the energy from this that dumped in this first block that energy that dumped into this block uh, was definitely a lot of it. It flipped, pulled the block out of the strap and flipped the block over it and ended up landing on the ground. Second block stayed in place. It didn't move. It might have slid back some. I'll have to double check that on the video. So I don't have the recovered slug for you. I'm sure it stayed solid. What I understand, these were made more for uh, penetration, barrier penetrating. So, here's what it is. 
see if I can get uh, something set up here later on and get one of these shot and recovered for you. 